Bum, 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 bum. How curious, the fire burns fiercely and yet makes no sound. This blaze is not a Rurgum. There was no illumination of this world present. This conflagration would completely escape your mortal gaze. It's the flame of the underworld. Oh, why it's not even hot. Stay back. The flame produces no heat, but it will scorch your soul and consume your flesh. Assuming a construct such as you had soul or flesh. Great Odin, Sovereign of Darkness and Battle, Lord of the Underworld, your humble servant Luzov stands at the threshold of your domain. Uh, didn't the Imperial Army still off the entrance to the Underworld? The rules of time and space don't apply equally to this world of that, miss. If I write this rent in the curtain between the two worlds, this dimensional hiccup shouldn't even exist. No being from either reality as the art to mince to fluke a fortune. I see. Throwing a bunch of laboratory nasties in the path of potential meddlers is about the best they could do. Ain't that right, boss? Silence. Manifestation begins. What? what what's happening? This wind. F Mal. Are you harmed? Boss. Forget the grill. Do you want Lord Orion to arrive without the warm welcome of his servant? Flit, you knew this would happen? There he is. Great Lord Odin. Great Odin, Lord of the Underworld. Trust your malevolence as well. A gladly, boss. We don't want to offend his maliciousness now, do we? Ah, Mal. Forgive me. Art thou the one who summoned me? Yes, my lord. Speak thy mind. Great Odin, devourer of the light. I wish to know the time that remains to me. As thou sated thy rage. Rage? What rage is this? Come on, boss, stick with the program. Your rage towards the Empire. No, not sated. My rage, my rage subsided. As thou sated thy rage. Great Odin. I have uncovered a purpose more deserving than simple revenge. The descendants of the Vaphromod, I wish to devote the remainder of my existence to building a kingdom in which they can live without fear of persecution. That is now my driving desire. So I ask for time, time to act freely. Well, ain't that a sweet idea? As thou say did thy rage, you don't give a fuck. I do not understand. <laughs> Didn't I tell you, boss? You already made a pact. The contract is signed and sealed. 
You will become the next incarnation of the Dark Rider, whether you're ready or not. The next incarnation, the terms of the pact, are non-negotiable. We'll let you in on a secret, boss, before you are completely consumed by the essence of the Rider. There's a period when you will retain free will. And how am I to fulfill this pact? Well, that's simple. All you gotta do is remember. Remember how your people suffered and perished in the merciless hands of the Empire. I'm sure the memories are still crystal clear to you. Just gotta hurl that big venomous ball of rage at her. We've had to fight Odin. I'm surprised this is still active. Actually, I'm kind of glad it is because it's kind of a long walk. Alright. Actually, no, I think we ran in here once by accident. Because I thought it was where I had to go. I was like, this doesn't seem right. As your chance. Look, she's defenseless. In any case, she's taking the full force of the astral wind. It'd be kinder to just put an end to her. The sooner the better. That's right, boss. Quick and painless. Hey, here to save the day. Flit. There's something I would know. This mercenary of Offbound is this vast right. You are certain he oversees the security of the treasure. What? Why does that matter at a time like this? Yes, I'm certain. Come on, boss. I showed you the blip on the tractor. The tractor. Tracker, didn't I? Besides, the one I entrusted to the vast right, the only other Persibi die that exists in this world is the one that you hold. There are no others. No, boss. Just the two. Why would I lie to you? And show me the one you have now. Uh, you see, there's more important. I mean, just look at the tracker. Right smack in the middle of Talaka Cove. The mercenary is right where he's supposed to be. So, he is. Right where he is supposed to be. Traitorous imp. What? Boss, no, I fucking wrecked. Good scene. The code of the Corsair is not to be taken lightly. Great Odin, hear my words. Are you even hearing my words? Has thou sated thy rage? It appears not. Lusaf. That's right. I must bring an end to this. Afma was in your charge. She's my. No, she's Aphromod's light in the darkness. What? What's happening? This is the incarnation. I will fight until the true deity is dragged into this realm. Didn't even phase him, dude. Dude's pissed. No. He's laughing. Sate thy rage. Thou shalt become my knight. Thou shalt serve as mine arm in the age of judgment till Alexander once again lies in ruins. Lusoff. <laughs> Dark Rider Flit at your service. Is dude still alive? Well, it's my command, boss. Nah, he's dead. But 
for the bow. Lusov, I'm, I'm fine. Your injuries, they do not pain me. I feel no pain at all. Like a little time in that's right. You're. Oh, that was the fucking puppet. Impeccable time in that's right. Your arrival allowed me to see through Flit's deception. Oh, that's right, to the rescue again. Thank you, that's right. Ah, please. That's what I do. Afmao, are you able to walk? Yes, that wind blew with such a familiar melody. Reminding me of the gentle breeze that always stirs the air around the Gordius. I think I'll be just fine. Where do we go from here? If what Flint said was true, we have a short period of grace. I suggest we hurry while we, my mule is still my own. Hurry to do what? To destroy the Iron Colossus before your brother reactivates it. Destroy it? But the Iron Giant is... The savior of the Empire? Maybe as you say. But should they fully manifest the incarnation of Odin, clash with the Iron Might of Alexander? The Age of Judgment? The victor deciding the laws of justice. Yes. But such laws would have meaning to desolate wastelands sure to be left in the aftermath of the conflict. We must prevent this battle at all costs. After the Colossus is rendered harmless, you must then turn your attention to me. Admiral, you, you must flee the, the immortals. Uh, wrecked. Most impressive, little sister. Grass flap. You have aided us in the capture of both a Dark Rider and a foreign spy all in one fell swoop. You don't have time for this. I have a care, loose off the black heart. Should I now call you Dark Rider? The crew members you have hidden throughout Haslam are all in our custody. Not to mention the descendants of Alphamrod that follow the rumors of your presence here. We're not have to spill the blood of imperial citizens, no matter how unwillingly they serve. <laughs> Take him away. Use the astral bonds we prepared. Keep up. Keep on your guard, sir. Move. Avmao, Empress Nashmira, is this the treatment I can expect from your nation? Has nothing changed over the last 200 years? Wait, I command you to release this man. Your magnificence? Ignore her, be on your way. Does our authority mean nothing. Listen to me, Ashmira. you have abandoned your government and sword of the enemies of the state. As Grand Vizier, I have decreed that the mark of Zahak, the symbol of absolute imperial power, is no longer yours to wield. You cannot. Your authority no longer exists. Do you betray the Empress? Betray your own sister? Betray you? You're in no position to speak of betrayal. That's right. Don't you think it's about time you told my fool of a sister the truth? I told her who you truly work for. Who he truly works for? What are you talking about? That's right, it works for me. Continue to deceive yourself. The only reason that's right stays close to you is to fulfill his duties as a spy. No, you're the one who is deceiving himself. You understand nothing about Lusa's spirit or that's right's heart. Listen to me, that's right. You must take this to Salahim Sentinels. Uh, let me in Dagger. We all have our masks. I hid my true identity from that's right. But even so, he still comes to my rescue. Shall I stop the automaton from casting? Let her play her hand. Tell your master this, that's right. The game is over. It's time to submit to the power of the Empire. Don't let them catch you, that's right. Yeah, they warped us out. <laughs> it's basically like right outside the door. I think they would send you like back to like your home point or something. At least back to town. I like with the area where they're like surrounding. <laughs> Alright. So we have to go back. To 
Naja. Crystal's not too far away, so let's go to the crystal and more from there. There's a long path out here. Oh, this sucks too. We have to wait after this scene. We have to wait a whole game day for the next one, and the day's about to change. Oh, that sucks. I somehow I can get there quick enough, but I doubt it. It's disappointing. Because even if I were to use the warp ring, I don't think I would. Got in there in time. Damn. That really does suck. Oh well. That basically just means after um, we do this scene, do more of um, that quest line that you get after Zilhard and Bromathia. about like eight seconds. <clears throat> so the pro the posters of reduce off were removed before you even had time to. Can't be serious. All rewards for information, not to mention the bounty itself. Gone. My, my. My black belly golden serpent metal, imperial bounty, piles of empress loot, flawless project. President, President Naja? Fly, my pretties. Just lost it. Look, in the sky, 2,000 imperial gold pieces flying away. Saucer tipped over. Ah, uh, just pissed. What the hell happened to my perfectly orchestrated plan? What is that good for nothing knucklehead been doing out there? Whether my suspicion at the market night, it's an employee's duty to report in immediately. Am I wrong? A, a perfectly res reasonable suspicion, President Naja. I may have to initiate emergency evacuation procedure 1B. Of all the incompetent... You. Oh shit. I don't even think she did it on purpose. This thing just, just lost it. She looks worried. Uh oh. I can't watch. Fucking Akaba. Useless. That's right. Oh dear, oh dear. Can you hear me? Hey, no, no, that's right. It's cool they tried to save us, but straight through his hands. We got whacked in the face. Yep, I was right. 900 years. 
900 years, emperors down through history have dreamed of seeing the scattered remnants of the Iron Colossus thus brought together. For this purpose alone, we have fought in countless fruitless conflicts, both within and without the Empire, in search of the lost condensances. It's been an epic, if pointless struggle, but my father had different vision. Yes, it was the innov innovative Emperor Jawzon that devised the notion of manufacturing Colossus, as well as the condensances, using our own resources and technology. There's always a way. If you cannot find one, create one. Another of his famous sayings. And you, my lord, Rasvad, are doing a splendid job of following in his footsteps. Spare me your platitudes. My father's idea was merely a catalyst. I'm my own vision, my own path to glory. I meant no offense, Grand Vizier. How can we know that Alexander will choose to manifest in our mechanical giant as he once infused the Iron Colossus? It's not the time to waver. It is said that Alexander only favors the strongest among us. According to my calculations, our mechanical creation has many times as destructive power as the Alzadal construct. I have no doubts concerning its worthiness. Alexander is but waiting the moment for his resurrection. Everything I have worked towards has been in preparation for that glorious day. Yes, it will be glorious. But we cannot jump ahead of ourselves. First, we must unravel the Gordius. The Gordius. What an unexpected taste of irony. Who would have suspected she had made such modifications to the automaton I designed? It was an oversight on our part. Now, Shamir's mother, Jubl Jubliel, was an eccentric woman, but none could fault her intelligence. Yes, a brilliant scholar. Before I enlisted her as my pupil, Jubilee was known as known in the academic community for her work in deciphering complicated scrolls of Wallaharian philosophy. When I was still a boy, she also instructed me in the arts of puppet master. The device she invented to instill behavioral patterns made it simple for even a beginner like myself to make Minjin move in the most lifelike manner. Uh, the concept of programming, I must admit to being dumbstruck by her ideas. We had only realized how much truth is contained in our ramblings. Everything is born from the Gordius. What of Nashmira? She remains secluded in her chamber, Grand Vizier. Stubborn child. Your orders? Tell her this. If she cooperates in unlocking the puppet's secrets, I will reconsider Lusoff's fate. Should she refuse, we will have no choice but to dismantle Ojan and Meijin for Gestad to analyze. Understood. Keep a strict guard. She's not to slip away again. Sir. Do you truly mean to release Lusov? Of course not. However, he reappeared just as we were completing the mechanical Colossus. Cannot be no coincidence. You believe there is some connection? It is possible. And until we know the significance of this connection, I intend to keep Lusov alive. But if he, do not worry. Will not allow this underworld apocalypse of theirs to occur. All the keys to the Age of Judgment lie in the palm of my hand. I will keep him under control even should he become the incarnation of a god. Okay. That's right, that's right it appears to be coming around. Yeah, I'm glad he's okay. You're glad? Ah, I'm finally waking up, Izzy. Guess I don't know my own strength. I sort of imagined that glimpse of compassion. Isn't there something you'd like to say to this, right? I, uh, that is to say, it's all Dusov's fault. This doesn't qualify you for workers' compensation. President Naja. Sorry about cracking your head, that's right. Now, don't you have some sort of report for me, hmm? Akhmau's message. Why did you say something? You, you... Already? Things are moving too fast. Hmm? This is not for the likes of you two. Now scoot for a bit so I can concentrate. So that's why they pretty much tell you wait a day then to so concentrate. Fortunately, we got that cutscene a little too late. So, we're gonna kill time for the next game day. 
Bam, bam, bam. Bam, bam, bam. Let's come over the president. She never wants to spend some time thinking. I hope all this thinking doesn't lead to one of her tantrums. But at least the loss of Dusov's bounty seems to have blown over without any casualties. Oh, I didn't mean to make light of your injury, that's right. You took care of that bump. That's right, I'm glad to have found you. I have urgent news. Please accompany me to Baldron Way. The never ending cutscene. It's been a while since we dealt with the um, fucking. Sindorians. The Divine Empress Tashmira II has been stripped of her authority. The Grand Vizier now controls the government. Events have transpired just as His Highness had feared they would. The Prince is acquainted with the current Empress, having once accepted an invitation to visit Ardugan as a guest of the state. I know nothing of the events that occurred during that time. However, His Highness is fervently confident of Empress Tashmira's ability to navigate a righteous course for her nation. Sir Travelis. Is isn't this place a little open for holding an emergency council? Aren't you worried about spies in the crowd? What if we were targeted for random surveillance? Pleasure to see you again, Rodin Committed. Oh, and by the way, I've been ordered to seize all exchanges of information with non industrial agents. We've discovered some facts about the actual condensants that would knock the starch out of your stuffy elven shirt. Uh, Dr. Shan, uh, Nikara Baba forbade me to speak of it to anyone. Wait, what's that delightful aroma? I think I smell kebabs. I'll just mosey on over and grab a bite to eat while we're waiting for everyone to get here. Who is everyone? Whoa. Hey! It's Ayame. Lady Ayame. A pleasant surprise. Did not expect a Mithra Musketeer to attend. Stock recognizes that the situation has grown beyond the scope of simple intelligence gathering. Meaning? Meaning that Strategic Command has ordered the Bastakian Navy to prepare for war. Prepare for war? You not acting prematurely? Wake up and smell the shy tra travelists. Winders has already deployed her amphibious cardians. The speculation is not constructive. If everyone is present, I suggest we discuss the main agenda. I've heard no word from Geshe. Excuse my bluntness by sp of speech. We do not have the luxury of time to wait for latecomers. Let's get this over with. The situation we had all hoped to avoid now looms before us. Then it has been decided. Yes, an allied force's military council will be called into session. Such a council has not been held since the end of the Great War. Our main prerogative is to avoid the commencement of hostilities. As a step towards this objective, I propose an open forum for the exchange of information. I agree. Is there anything you would want you would like to share with us? That's right. You have infiltrated the deepest layer of the Imperial government, if I'm not mistaken. Conflict may be unavoidable. This threat to escalate to war on a scale greater than any in history. The loss of life will be incalculable. It's nice to see Ayame again. Alright. So now we gotta wait a game day for the next mission. So, in that case, where the hell am I? Where's my crystal? Oh, wait, I'm in the other area, aren't I? There is no crystal here. That shit. Let's just go ahead and do that other quest line with um that we got after Zilhard and for Matthew were done. So we need to go back. I already got like the hollow pieces, the silver ones. So I had to get through the Permabeans. So we have to finish that part of the quest. So to do that, we have to go to um fuck it, right past the crystal, back to uh, Juno. Relude Guardians. Bam, 
So these are what were causing such unusual activity within the emptiness. I can feel the aura of those who return to the Mother Crystals. I'm Walada, Elnarsh, and you and Archduke Kamlanot. Could it be possible that these entities are attempting to break back into this world? They return as they once were, or as something more sinister. That's right, we must put a stop to this. These incarnations are being that have chosen and been chosen by the emptiness. I fear their powers will be beyond any race that has awakened well, that has walked by Nadia. Go, prepare yourself for battle. Then return to me here. Let us raise the curtain on the final conflict. Ba -ba -ba. Cool. Next mission. Do -do 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 -do. Wait, what is the next one? This one. Apocalypse Nigh. Oh my god, the wait for the next game day for this one too? Well, isn't that fun? Okay. Well. The boss fight there. So after this next mission here, there's actually one more mission. I think it's just a cutscene. And that's it. That'll be the final mission for uh, Promethean Zilhart. It actually might not even be a cutscene, it just says that's the description for it. So I guess we only have one more mission, technically. Alright. Well, in that case... Let's see. Um, I know what I can do. Let us oh, let me go back to Bastok. Actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go to Bastok. So it would be a good opportunity to just go level up Thief a little more. Or can you even level up my fucking dancer? At least 91. Let me see what this guy wants. Please trade an Imperial Bronze piece to me. Or to Fruburn in our Duangon White Gate. Um, sure. I can do that right now. I don't even have. I have ten. Well, we can have one. Why not? Oh, uh, it's like a temporary upgrade. Oh, that's the locker. That's why. Never mind. I don't want that. Hmm. 
Hey, Burn, thank you for the raid. Claire, welcome in. Do I want to change and just level this up real quick? How was, um, Breath of Fire? It's a series I've never played before. But I should. Just wrapped it up, nice. Welcome in Raiders, I'm that's right. I'm a variety streamer, but lately I've been on a binge of Final Fantasy XI. I've been going through the story missions. Right now I'm on Treasures. Close to the end of that one, but not quite there yet. Um, what was I gonna do? Let me check. to go uh, where is it where is it where is it um, ba -ba -ba -ba. wanna go Still have. Hmm. Seawolf, look at them with the raid. The question is, where should I go to fight? What is this? where this even is. I actually can find the tunnel. I could do that until the game day changes. You can probably take me there. Thank you for the follow. Oh, shit. Nice, these ones are weak. I'm gonna go farther in. I gotta kill time till the next game day changes. Question is, how do I go deeper in this place? Um... 
Oh wait. So those guys are weak and these guys aren't. Why did you aggro? It's probably not gonna end. It's very disappointing these guys aggroed me. But oh well. You know what? Here. I just fucking warp out or out of the map. It's right here. Didn't mean for that to happen. Oh, wait, this is a different map. Well, that didn't work. I thought it would. Alright, never mind. This crab wasn't hitting me too. <laughs> Your game crashed. That sucks. That's happened to me a couple times playing this too. I have a feeling it's Windower that's crashing it though. But nice, fellow Odin player. I'm so glad dancers can heal themselves. It's good thing my evasion is high too. Enjoy the Lurk Bird. I guess using all those Sonya's diaries is actually paying off. Don't want to use my um, weapon skill because I might need the TP to heal. Alright. Get rid of his weak ass leech. Is there something else? Is there another goblin attacking me? Oh my god. What are these guys? Stuff's kind of useless to use here. I don't use magic. I'm surprised these guys are actually easy prey stuff from this. What am I up to right now? Um, 
I'm doing more treasures missions, but I'm blocked because the last cutscene I did, I have to wait till like the next game day to do it. So I was like, well, let me do this other quest line, that one that you get after um, finishing Zillar and Promathia. But that one I'm blocked from the next game day as well. So now I just gotta kill time until the next game day. So I came here to Gustav Tunnel to level up a little bit. But I didn't mean to catch aggro from these guys, which I did. I'm gonna go farther in. I just wasn't expecting you guys to aggro me like right when I warped in. From level cap on true mules. Nice. Oh shit. I didn't realize he was gonna do that right away. Luckily he didn't do anything. Let me... I should probably heal first. This isn't maxed, but let's just use it anyways. I killed him, cool. Alright. Now, let me just summon these dudes out in case they're getting more aggro. Then we can just kill everything quick. I play like you do. Oh, you go to every menu? Yeah. Well, I do everything the hard way. The long way. Same. Macros, especially when you're in battles, macros feel like, I don't know, it's kind of easy. Like the, If you go the long route, it kind of like raises the stress level of it, which is nice. Agreed. I could see with White Mage wanting to use macros, otherwise you just get lost and could end up with a lot of death. Um, shit. I tried and regretted it. Yeah, I remember back in the day when I originally played this, when it first came out, leveling up White Mage. It's fine, like, when the tank can hold the hate, but when it starts going haywire, it can get rough. Alright, I should probably Spectral Jig till I find the higher level stuff. I want to go... To... Is this even the right map that I'm on? It should be. Um, yeah. Alright, let me... Do this. The gear you have, you don't worry about mana, and you sometimes will sit there and spam a few cure, I guess. Nice. That was the other worried something about playing as a white mage running out of MP. This 
I'm going to use a tome here too. Was it page eight? Can't even look at the book, Invisible. Ugh. The pants in your white mansion to where you basically get free cure cast. That's very nice. Eventually, I have to work on better gear, at least for my dancer. Once I start leveling up the other stuff, shit, I'll worry about that then. But let's look at this base stuff on hand. Um, what am I doing? What am I doing? What the hell are those? It's page. I haven't done one of these training regimes and fuck, can't even remember. I know I did a bunch of them in Valkyrie Dunes. I was like just starting out. This has been in a hard. Your cure hits is how much you get back from mana. That's actually nice. That actually sounds very good. What am I attacking? Um, let's go to I seven. I want to go way over in that corner, so I went the wrong way. All right, that's fine. Um, spectral jig again. Forgot I had sneak on. I was like, wait a minute, I'm not invisible. It's actually nice. Cast magic, but then you get MP back when you cast it. It's out of curiosity for once you get to higher levels for like those types of gear. Is that gear that you bought, you have to like make, or is it from like drops? Part of relic. The upgrade with certain items once it drops from NMs. Alright. Good to know. These are the guys I want to fight, right? Yes, holy shit. Go from easy prey to ITs. Why these worms look so much bigger than normal ones? I don't know if I want to fight them all together. But you know what? Fuck it. I can try to drag it. I have a ranged weapon. All right. Okay. 
Come on. In lost sight. Ah, eh, fuck it. They don't aggro. It's hopefully Bland Real doesn't AoE their ass. Magic burst. A lot of experience, you're right. Not fucking bad. Level and guide more often. Definitely use it now for you uh, when I race my other classes. See? That's what I want you to do the first fight. The magic burst. Oh shit. This wore off. Get one of those little turtle guys too. What was I supposed to do for that uh training guide? Just to kill how many of these? Can't remember. Just to kill these and the, the fucking turtles. The 
Swarms your fast kills. Got it. to higher in of levels for that area then becomes a wash. Oh. Yeah, I got the turtle. Right, right. Killing you this fast and great. are kind of rough. can kill it. Seasoning stone. 
All right, back to worms. Much, much better. from the turtles. Romantic Floor is definitely better than Striking. I swear they'll give you that one second. I did that. Somebody else is doing the same thing I'm doing. You can have those ones, that's fine. We can share worms.
like how Dash can uh, force the trigger um, skill chains. You just wreck shit faster. Bump, bump. If I had four more fun to do combat with skill change rather than just throwing out constant weapon skills. Agreed. Like a fat worm meat. Hey, just give a new day to you. Right. Just kill this worm because he aggroed me. And then we can go continue on um, treasures missions. Guess I know where to come to fight now. Don't know if they have enough T 
TP. Let's find out. Treasure the Seeker simultaneously switch you in. Get to wait until the next day. Yeah, makes sense. I was kind of doing that. I was like, you know what, let me focus on more Rhapsodies. I think Rhapsodies, because I haven't played the Treasures story before. So I started to do Rhapsodies, which kind of like linked with Treasures part, where I was. But I kind of seemed like it was spoiling for me. I was like, oh, maybe I shouldn't do that. And then, um, so that's why I was like, oh, let me do like little side quest thing. So I went to the Promivians again and got the the silver pieces you need from them for that like post quest line stuff but um i got blocked from that too so i was like you know what might as well come level a little bit and we got one level but actually you know what i might as well just do one more fight i'll level again and then we'll go back The only thing I've done with wings is I basically just started wings so I can get into like, I guess, past world so I get the dance request or class unlocked. That's as far as I've gone with that one. What was I doing? Did I step? Fuck, I can't remember. Now we can warp out of here. 